Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining me today for another Life Lifter. We are talking about how to relate great using the book of Proverbs, the book of wisdom in the Old Testament to give us principles. And so far in this um, week of Life Lifters, we've covered three different topics. If you want to relate great, there's kind of a somewhat of an order to this. The first thing to relate great is this. To make a friend, you must be a friend. Then on Tuesday, we talked about the importance of pace, not moving, in most cases, too quickly in a relationship and not moving too slowly on occasion, but work, working at the right pace because relationships always take time to form well, like concrete that is being poured. It just takes time. You can't not rush it. And then yesterday, we talked about a third principle, and that's this, that relationships need regular checkups. You have to constantly check up on a relationship to see if the relationship is what you originally thought it was. Today, I want to talk to you about a fourth principle on how to relate great, and it's this. Caution ahead. Caution ahead. When you move ahead in a relationship, you need to exercise caution. You need to carefully screen people as they move from acquaintance to friend and then to close friend. And that's kind of the three categories I think. I have a lot of acquaintances, I have many friends, but I don't have that many close friends. And that's because a close friend is going to get um, into my life and I'm going to get into their life. And I can't do that with everybody because it isn't always a match for a litany of reasons. But you must exercise caution and discernment. As people are progressing in your life, the biggest judgment call you have to make is when they go from acquaintance to friend, that's important. But when they go from friend to close friend, ooh, too many people have made a tragic mistake of letting the wrong person be a close friend because they did not operate with caution. You know, when you get off at an exit, it will tell you, you know, 35 miles an hour, say it's off the expressway, and you try to go 55. I remember when I first got my license, I called my friend Jim and I said, hey, Jim, let's go for a ride. And, um, I got in my mother's Ford Torino, 1974, 75, and me and Jim, we went on that Buffalo Road exit from Buffalo Road to, to get on a 490. And I remember going around the loop and hearing the tires go, Arr! and I go, is that me doing that? And Jim goes, yeah, slow down, you're going too fast. I went way too fast around that curve. And I didn't realize um, that I had to operate with more caution in that part of the loop. And of course... <laughs> Um, my early driving record um, reflected that lack of caution um, more than once. And we'll leave that for another life lifter that will be shared never. Anyway, so the point being is that you need caution in relationships. You need to have wisdom and carefully screen people as they move from acquaintance to friend, but especially as they move from friend to close friend. Can you have too many close friends? Absolutely can. Look at some of these Proverbs. Proverbs 12, 26a says, a righteous man is what? Cautious in friendship. You need to be cautious in your friendships. If so many people are divulge way too much information. They, 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 just, they just move too quickly. They get too close. They get too intimate in various kinds of ways. And the relationship can't handle it. It was the wrong choice. It was the wrong time. Something. Here's another one. Proverbs 19, 2a says this, zeal without knowledge is not good. You may be excited about a relationship, but if you don't use knowledge to evaluate it, it's not good. Now, let me give you three things. You say, Vince, how do I examine a relationship to see if it can move from acquaintance to friend or friend to good friend? Let me give you three tools, three filters, three evaluate, evaluative tips uh, in this process. Number one, examine communication patterns. When you say something, are they a gossip or are they trustworthy with it? When you say something, do they do it or just blow you off? Communication pattern. When you see communication patterns, boy, just listen carefully to how they're communicating. Boy, you can evaluate that friendship. That comes from Proverbs eleven thirteen. You can look that up on your own. Here's another one. Emotional management. Another example, examination point is emotional management. 
Are they composed or do they have a hasty temper? Are they composed? And when you share something, they're like, oh, let me think about that or everything. Oh, I can't believe, I can't believe. Hey, hey. And it's, well, you see that. You see that once. That's almost always a sign they will never be a close friend in my life. Are they composed or do they have a hasty temper when something challenging comes up in their life? You can find that in Proverbs 14, 29. So communication patterns, their emotional management, a third way you evaluate and, and exercise caution in a relationship is to evaluate and examine relational concern. Are they authentic or are they artificial? Proverbs 21, 29 talks about, are they authentic or are they artificial? By the way, this is the hardest. It's hard to know if somebody's authentic or artificial. But I'm telling you right now, there's a lot of fake people. A lot of fake people. I've had a lot of people come talk to me. I want to be your friend. I want to help you. I want to do this for you. And turn around and stab me in the back. And um, so you have to be really, really careful. There's a lot of fake people. Um, over the years at Lakeshore, I've met um, more than my fair share of fake people. They say they're strong Christians, I believe otherwise, I see otherwise, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So here's my point. When you forge ahead in a relationship, exercise caution. Exercise caution. Don't get overzealous in the relationship. Just because that first date, just because that first discussion about a business, just because that first uh, conversation with a neighbor went well, don't presume everything else will. Exercise caution. Are you cautious in your relationships. Better to be a little overly cautious than to lack any level of caution. It's what's killing so many relationships in our world. And so my hope for you is that you'll exercise caution. Let's pray. Father, it's such a challenge to evaluate relationships. Help us to use the proper level of caution when we let an acquaintance move into the realm of friend. And when we let a friend move into the realm of a close friend. Help us to evaluate their emotions, their communications, and their relational patterns. Father, help those listening to have the courage to cautiously evaluate their friendships and to make decisions about where they stand with that other individual accordingly. Help them now and help them in the days ahead through Jesus Christ. Amen. Thanks, and don't forget, when you relate to people, be cautious. Have a good day.